Um, I'm training, of course, you know, I'm staying safe and, you know, staying around uh, uh, as less people as possible. But, you know, as, as the world has saw me and Floyd Mayweather, we have been doing training, you know, um, the, for like the last maybe week or so. So it's, uh, it's been great. I'm, um, I'm staying in shape, but I'm also staying safe. How did you be start in boxing? How, how was that process? Uh, when I was young, I was, I was about seven years old and I was having trouble in school. I was fighting a lot. I was having problems. Um, and, you know, one day I got into a fight at school and my dad said, you know what, I'm going to take you to the boxing gym and um, you're going to get beat up. And every time that you keep fighting in school, I'm going to keep bringing you to the gym, keep bringing you to the gym. And um, long story short, um, I basically, I, 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 I started doing better in school and I also like to, to go to the gym and, and train. And um, I just basically stuck with it from that point on. So boxing uh, shaped your character and, and funneled your, your anxiety and your aggression towards the gym and not to the school. Yes, yes. Um, it, it saved me um, a lot of trouble. I just feel like I could, you know, release anything that I felt in the gym. And um, it was actually fun. I looked forward to going to the gym. You know, I, I wanted to, I couldn't wait to get out of school so I could go train and, and go work out. So I knew that if I did good in school, then I would just go, then I would be able to go to the gym. So uh, anyone in your family is a boxing, uh, ever boxed? Uh, not that I know of. Maybe some people, you know, generations and generations ago that I don't know of. But as far as I know, it's only me. So it was your father who had the wisdom of doing finding boxing to save your life and your future. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it, it worked out well. And who... Do you have one hero of, of the sport, a boxer that you uh, look up to? Of course, um, Muhammad Ali, you know, just because of everything that he stood for. And, you know, his name will be forever remembered. And, you know, in the ring, he was such a great fighter. But outside of the ring, he was a, a great person, you know, you, and he, he stood for the people. And that's what I would like to be. You know, one day, you know, I want my name to be remembered not only in the ring, but outside of the ring. And um, those early days when you were going to the gym, seven, eight years old, who did you have as, a, as an example? Who, who did you want to be like as a boxer? Um, when, I was, when I was young, I really didn't watch that much boxing. Um, I was playing football at the time and I was doing boxing. So I really didn't have much time to, to, to watch boxing at that time. But the first like famous boxer that, that, that I like really knew and looked and looked up to was, was Mayweather because he lived in Las Vegas and I lived in Las Vegas. And that's, that's how uh, that was the only one that I know. And the first fight that I watched was Floyd versus De La Hoya. Oh, okay. Wow. That was a great fight. Devin, did you start your, so as an amateur, you started in Las Vegas, I know you're from Oakland originally, correct? So were you boxing out of Vegas when you started your amateur career or out of uh, Oakland? Uh, I started in Vegas. Oh, okay, okay, so you're there from the inception, okay. Well, that's a great place to get inspiration, so every great fighter comes through there, so you can, you know, pick up tips just watching them. Yes. That fight, uh, Floyd was the WBC welterweight champion. And De La Hoya was WBC Super Welterweight Champion. It was a, a fight for the ages. It was a very close, very entertaining, very difficult fight. And it's crazy that that's, it's just crazy how the world works is, you know, that fight, first fight I ever watched was a WBC fight. My first, my first belt that I ever won was a WBC belt. Floyd is training, uh, Floyd is working with me now. And, you know, it's just crazy how the, the, the universe works. So how, what is your relationship with Floyd? How do you, you go to the gym? He is training you. Uh, yeah. what, how do you feel? What, what, I mean, that has to be mind blowing to. to yeah, it's, def it's, def it's definitely crazy. I st it's still unbelievable to me, you know, because I never thought that Floyd would be uh, a coach, you know, in the first place. So I never pictured him to, to, you know, be training me or training anyone. So the fact that he is working with me and showing me things and giving me tips, 
you know, um, it's stuff that you can you can't pay for. You know, he is the 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 Michael Jordan of my era. So it's like it's like me. It's like a basketball player you know, being able to work with Michael Michael Jordan. You know, it's it's the same thing. So you know, I'm I'm very grateful for it. I'm very blessed, and I'm and I'm picking up everything you know that he's that he's teaching me. Are those your boxing gloves, the ones that you have, or do you take them from the gym? Say it one more time. Uh, this winning, the boxing gloves that... Uh... Yes, those were some of my old, older gloves. What's your favorite uh, glove? Which one do you feel comfortable? Um, the gloves that I feel comfortable in fights are Grant. I like Grant a lot. You know, um, I, tried, I tried a few different brands, but Grant feels, feels the most comfortable to me. He, he's a very uh, handmade product, process. Yes. Grant, Grant has a very uh, unique production process, which uh, goes specifically to the fight. I'm very happy that you are uh, in, in good standing with Grant.